Hello everyone, my name is Nadeem Khan. Welcome to Uncommon Literature. Today we are going to do Look Back in Anger. It is a play by John Osborne. It was first performed in 1956 and uh, it is a play about a whole generation which was a you know generation of England in the 20th century. It talks about the people who, you know, had grown up after Second World War and they were the beneficiaries of Education Act 1944. So basically, before going to the play, you must understand a little background of the play so that you will be able to understand it better. So, you know, it talks to a generation who got education through the Education Act of 1944 and they were you know beneficiaries of the labor government who was elected in 1945 okay so however they people studied in local universities and not very high class universities like oxford and cambridge and the state had paid for their education okay but one thing you have to notice that even after getting the university education they found that the prizes were still reserved for the high class people the people who were educated from oxford or cambridge universities thus it brought a lot of resentment the people were so much disappointed kingsley ms however wrote another novel that is lucky jim on the same situation of these people okay but when look back in anger came it spoke to a whole generation so first you have to understand the title look back in anger so the people of england they are looking back at the high uh, you know status of the country which they had before the world war after the world war ended britain became weak and it lost its power as well so the title is simply to look back at the past but with anger so we have anger because of the present situation the country is defeated the country is not powerful and we are educated generations still we are not getting the jobs or good opportunities so that that is the justification of the title look back in anger so now let us start with the play so the play also falls in a category of kitchen sink drama in which the whole action takes place in a domestic setting with the kitchen and a lot of things or you know which happens inside a house so that is why it also falls in the kitchen scene drama here uh, we see that so the characters are living in a one room apartment and both jimmy potter and Alison potter they are living with one friend Cliff Lewis. Jimmy and Cliff both run a business of sweet stall and both are from working class but Allison is from upper class. They married against the wish of her parents but he is now uh, you know wanting her. He wants her to feel the same suffering as he is feeling okay so in act one this is a sunday uh, of april we see allison is ironing and jimmy and cliff both are reading newspaper jimmy speaks in hostile manner to both of them and insult them okay and he also makes fun of the status of his wife and also mocks her life before her marriage which was obviously better than the present one which she is living with him he does not like her status of upper class okay so that is why he is always you know speaking against her he is speaking in a hostile manner jimmy is also nostalgic of england's powerful past okay allison now wants some peace and this all even makes him more furious and he starts his insults 
क्लिफ कम्स टू मेक पीस बिटवीन दैम विच लीड्स टू अ स्मॉल फाइट एंड दे बोथ फॉल ऑन द आयन बोर्ड एंड एलिसंस आर्म इज बर्न अलोन विद एलिसन क्लिफ कम्फर्ट्स हर एंड शी रिवील्स दैट शी इज प्रेगनेंट बट शी डिड नॉट टेल दिस थिंग टू Jimmy, because she was afraid that it would make him even more angry. Jimmy comes and they both start to play a game of bear and squirrel, and she gets a phone call of Helena Charles, who is coming to stay with them. This makes Jimmy very upset, and he starts cursing her. and he says that if she ever gets a child he wishes that it you know dies so this is the curse which he gives her in the end of the act 1 so by the act 1 you must have seen that uh, the character of jimmy is very upset he is angry so that is why the term angry young man has been attached to him okay and this term was a very famous at that time and it was used to refer to this whole generation who were angry because of the reasons i told you in the beginning of the video okay in act 2 it is after 2 weeks that helena has arrived and she discusses their young days when they used to go to parties and with there was one more friend hugh tanner Jimmy has a lot of affection for Hugh's mother and he his relation his friendship with Hugh got bitter when Hugh went to the world tour and leaving his mother alone Helena also mentions Alison's affections for Cliff but Alison says that they are strictly friends now Helena and Alison want to go to church but Jimmy starts speaking against religion and he goes on in his you know talking Helena argues with him but he mentions that he has seen his own father die after coming from the Spanish civil war so by this incident he wants to tell that he has seen the suffering from a very close point okay he wants to mention that he has been in pain he has been suffering he a gets lot. a phone call and he goes out helena says to elison that uh, she has called her father to pick her up and you know to take her away from this house where she is living a life of hell elison also agrees okay and and jimmy comes back and he mentions that uh, uh, hugh's mother is sick and he wants elison to go with him but they mention that they want to go to church and he mentions that elison has to choose whether to go with her or with him and after some time she leaves to church and this disappoints him a lot Colonel Redfern comes to pick his daughter and he mentions that he was in British military and he also served in India and he says that uh, his military time was the best time of his life and Alison observes that her father is hurt because present is not past okay like present is not past what he liked in his lifetime that is not there now and jimmy is hurt because present is only past jimmy is hurt that whatever they suffered earlier in the world war or whatever they you know earlier problems they had still they have the same things in present so i repeat this you know point that elison observes her father is hurt because present is not past and jimmy is hurt because present is only past when she leaves she gives a letter for jimmy to cliff and cliff is also angry and he gives the letter to helen 
whom he is taking responsible for this whole situation jimmy gets the letter from helena and she tells him about alison's pregnancy and he does not care about it much he insults helena and she slaps him in act 3 we have the mirror scene of act 1 scene 1 where cliff and jimmy are reading the newspaper in their flat but this time helena is the one who is ironing on the board and uh, cliff mentions that he has decided to leave the apartment and uh, jimmy takes his decision politely and uh, he says that he has been a faithful friend alison comes and she mentions that she has lost her baby and helena apologizes to her for what she has done with her okay but the loss of baby gives her utmost suffering only okay now when jimmy gets to know about this fact he laments it but does not take it much seriously but this disappoints helena a lot and she says that, that she still has the sense of right and wrong and she decides to leave alone with jimmy alison mentions that now she has gone through a lot of suffering and pain which he always wanted her so now he becomes softer towards her and they two start playing their game of bear and squirrel with this we come to the end of this play